Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today is the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time and our theme, Lord, I want to see. I would like to share with you today the personal story of Terry Anderson, who published his experience in a book, the year 1993, titled Den of Lions, Memoirs of Seven Years. He speaks about his own personal experiences as a hostage in Lebanon when he was working as the chief correspondent of the Associated Press in the Middle East. He was physically and psychologically abused, beaten and tortured by his captors, chained to a bed or a wall and stripped his undergarments. Anderson was kept blindfolded so as not to be able to recognize his whereabouts and the identities of his guards. Deprived of physical sight and freedom, Anderson spent those seven years engaged in a spiritual odyssey marked by an ever-deepening insight. Blindfolded in darkness, he discovered the inner light of grace that enabled him to approach life again with faith. In stark truthfulness and humility, he was able to look at his captors with a sense of understanding. His probing spiritual perception led him to see reconciliation, healing and forgiveness from God. In today's gospel, Another man, deprived of physical sight, invites the gathered community here in our church to share his personal odyssey. The first reading taken from the book of Prophet Jeremiah 31, 7, 9, tells us how a forgiving and compassionate God has been healing the spiritual blindness of his chosen people by sending them to captivity in Babylon later on, liberating them and bringing them back to their homeland. The healing of the blind Bartemius is seen as the fulfillment of Jeremiah's joyful prophecy of the exiled Jews returning from Babylon to their homeland. The responsorial Psalm 126 gives us the encouraging promise. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The second reading from the letter to Hebrews 5, 1, 6 presents Jesus as the perfect sacrifice for sins and as the true high priest of the New Testament. It also gives us the assurance that our high priest the sinless Jesus is sympathetic to us because Jesus has shared our human nature in everything, even including temptation. Today's Gospel according to Mark 10, 46, 52 describes Jesus' final journey to Jerusalem through Jericho, an ancient city, 15 miles away from Jerusalem. Jericho was the first city conquered by the Israelites when they entered Palestine. It was a city of great wealth and remarkable beauty, where a great number of merchants and Jewish priests made their homes. The Mosaic law required every Jewish male over the age of 12, living within 15 miles of Jerusalem, to attend the Passover those who, for one reason or another, were exempt from this obligation, would often line up the roads to Jerusalem to greet the crowd of pilgrims as they pass towards the city. Beggars also capitalized on the increased traffic to the city to beg for money. One such beggar was the blind man Bartemius. Though he was physically blind, 
he could see and understand who Jesus was and his mission much better than some of his own disciples like John and James cited in last Sunday's gospel. But Bartimaeus recognized Jesus as the promised Messiah. Instead of asking for power and glory, he asked only for the healing and mercy of God. That many Jews believed that Jesus the Messiah would bring. He was though physically blind, spiritually alert and active. In our day to day lives too, dear brothers and sisters, we come across people who are physically fine but most often spiritually blind. Their priorities are often material benefits like power, position, wealth and influence. For this blind beggar, it is more of spiritual benefits. All he asked was, Lord, I want to see. After receiving the sight, he accepted Jesus and followed him. A great model for us to follow today. Every day is a blessing. And we can see, feel, hear, touch, but we fail to see as a blind man did. Instead of remaining in spiritual blindness, let us pray for spiritual sight. We suffer from spiritual blindness due to our anger, hatred, jealousy, evil habits, addictions, etc. That is where we need to join the blind man and pray, Lord, I want to see. We also need to cry out to Jesus as Bartimaeus did. Seeking his mercy, goodness, and compassion, love, with a trusting faith. Sometimes our fears, inhibitions, and habitual sins may prevent us from approaching God in prayer. Let's pray for freedom from spiritual blindness and growth in faith. Say, Lord, I want to see, and I want to see you. Dear sisters and brothers, today over 1 billion Catholics all over the world observe as the World Mission Sunday. The annual observance was instituted 95 years ago in 1926 by Pope Pius XI through his papal decree. Every year since then, the Universal Church has dedicated the month of October for reflection and prayer for the missions. On World Mission Sunday, Catholics gather to celebrate the Eucharist and to contribute to a collection for the work of evangelization around the world. This annual celebration gives us a chance to reflect on the importance of the mission work for the life of the church. It reminds us that we are one with the church around the world and that we are all committed to carrying on the mission of the church who is missionary by nature. After the model of Jesus, the greatest missionary of all time. May God bless us all. Have a happy weekend. Stay tuned.